In the grim darkness of the far future, there is only war. These are the closing days of the 41st millennium. The 13th Black Crusade tears through the Aegis Ocularis, the space surrounding the dreaded Eye of Terror. Worlds burn as chaos makes a push for holy terror. The ashes of Cadia flowing in its wake as the combined might of the Imperium desperately tries to stem the tide. The ever opportunistic forces of the galaxy, Eldari, Drukhari, Orcs, and worse besides, make their own plays for glory, dominance, and survival. Battlefleet Gothic Armada 2 features three grand campaigns controlling five factions. This is Commodore Travaux. Chaos forces have launched a full-scale planet strike. Offering Imperial, Tyranid, and Necron perspectives on the greatest conflict to ever befall the Milky Way. Surrender or be destroyed. Each tells its own unique story with individual mechanics and completely different ships and strategies available. Lord Inquisitor, our forward explorers have located a Tyranid bio-vessel. The Aegis Ocularis is divided into sectors, and each sector contains multiple systems. You begin with a small fleet and control of just one system. From there, you must expand across the entire Eye of Terror. Admiral Spire, you are late. We have held vigil over Antharic's forces for many days. They have unique attributes, be it an agri-world that helps your other systems grow, or an Adeptus Mechanicus research lab that improves your ships. With chaos flooding the galaxy, it's up to you to reclaim these worlds and put them to work for your faction. See what has washed up on the Eye of Terror's tides. Admiral Spire. In the Imperium campaign, you control the combined fleet of Admiral Spire. He brings together Adeptus Mechanicus, Space Marine, and Imperial Navy ships as one final bulwark to fight against the coming of Abaddon. A masterful plan. The Tyranids are a new foe to Gilliman. Peace is not an option. You will fight battles of ever-increasing scale, reclaiming territory and using it to fuel your war machine. Upgrade ships and your fleet. Pick your preferred playstyle from the massive selection of ships available. The enemy will not leave you to your riches, so prepare defenses and secure your most valuable systems as best you can. Build new fleets and assign new admirals to continue your expansion and win the war. To submit is folly. Necron needs are very different. Great tombs and buried docks to be opened and unearthed pylons to push back chaos, and mysteries of the galaxy to be unlocked. The Tyranids' rapacious appetite and need for destruction manifests in a completely different set of galaxy map mechanics. They deploy vanguard forces to infiltrate systems long before they arrive. Once taken over, worlds are consumed over time. This slowly reduces their output until nothing but ash, bones, and biomass remain of once great colonies. Each faction also has a unique narrative arc, as they rise to control or decimate the Aegis Ocularis. We shall prevail in the Emperor's name. All three are totally separate, totally new storylines for Warhammer 40,000. They take the galaxy, its heroes, and villains in new, unforeseen directions. It shall be as you say. While Imperial and Necron characters explain their goals and motivations during their campaigns, the Tyranid story is told through those that High Fleet Leviathan comes into contact with. This shows how fear, desperation, and infighting can doom entire species. We have encountered a Tyranid High Fleet. Impossible as it seems, our situation has grown worse. There can be no forgiveness for what you are about to attempt. As you progress, Annihilation Arcs will grant the opportunity to wipe out other factions from the map. This will stop them creating new fleets and attacking your power bases, giving you much needed respite and revenge. 
Throughout it all, you will be taking part in spectacular battles, including special scripted missions featuring the biggest, baddest ships of the 40k universe. Reboot Gilliman's Gloriana. We shall render it to dust. Orcs hunting space whales. Orcs is the beast! The Tyranid Ancient One. And many more make an appearance through the campaigns. All this playable in co-op, with each player controlling half the fleet in each battle. Battlefleet Gothic Armada 2 is a massive experience, with hours upon hours of missions and narrative for each of the three campaigns. This is on top of the 12 factions in Ranked Multiplayer, Skirmish, and 2v2. They have all their own skills, upgrades, sub-factions, settings, nigh-infinite possible maps, and much more. The Aegis Ocularis awaits. Pre-order now to make sure you get a glimpse of the campaign in the second beta for Battlefleet Gothic Armada 2.